So we inhale, oil comes in, oil comes up the wick, ember gets bright, and open your heart, open your face, soften your tongue. In Chinese medicine, all of these relate to your heart. Oil, up the wick, ember. You can stay like this for as long as you want. I'm looking right to the sun with my closed eyes. That feels nice. So it's just a, an innocent childlike play. Oil, wick, ember, flame. And sometimes, I don't remember recommend doing this uh, too many times, but you can go oil, follow the oil up, wick, flame, Gather some oil, fill up the wick, ember, coming up. And you can just do that forever and ever and ever, or for a few minutes. Um, so with our filling cauldron, glowing heart or radiant heart, we're bringing the lamp oil in, feeling the lamp oil come up the wick, heating the ember of the heart, generating more light, more radiance, more warmth, more glowing, more spirit, more perhaps audacity, playfulness. We inhale, gather, exhale, wick comes up, ember, flame, so as we're feeling this, there's another quality of this practice that's a deep Taoist meditation, which you can do standing like this, you can do seated, you can do lying down, um, waiting in a lineup <laughs> for your morning uh, coffee or something. And just keep exploring this movement and that context of bringing in the lamp oil, activating your jing, your essence, your mojo, so you feel that in your body feeling your jing coming up your middle. Don't get too literal about where and how and why. <laughs> it's just an image. Feel the ember warming. Feel the fire coming up. So just stay with that. In Taoist practice, one of the things we uh, hold in a certain regard is the idea of jin. And jin is often translated as truth, uh, authentic, um, it's attributed to the way the indigenous people of Asia experience their lives, uh, if not all the indigenous people in the world. That uh, term in Chinese is Chun Run, or the true human beings. And uh, interestingly, the name true human beings is uh, consistent for the names that indigenous tribes give themselves all over the world. So the only reason I bring that up is we're, gonna, we're going to want to drop into an experience of what it's like to be very honest, very authentic, very present, but very present to something in life that helps us mature, become wise, let go, um, <clears throat> heal in certain ways, come to accept and hopefully love ourselves in, in many ways. So when we look at the character for Chun, um, if you can see this, there's a part on the bottom that is meant to be a brazier, kind of like a slow warming barbecue. And then the middle part is your experience of yourself as a self. And the upper part is actually flowers coming out. So my favorite way to describe this character is you want to cook your identity and your ego and kind of like turn over the, called the BS if you will, or the stuff that we really need to move on from. And that's where the beauty of our lives, of our spirit, of our soul, of our inner nature can come out. So when we're playing with this practice, and there's several other like it, we bring in the lamp oil, which symbolizes our innate animal energy. Uh, you could say that kind of cellular gur and purr quality. So if I have that experience, that's the lamp oil. Mm -hmm. I'm a body, I'm alive. I can focus on sensation and my, my needs and pleasures and connections. 
as we come up the wick, we choose to use our resources and our adaptability to show up in the world. Now that's going to be determined by your world and your childhood and what you need right now. But it's to notice that we're either conscious of who is making those distinctions, what we're doing with our life energy, what we're doing with our essence, what we're doing with our flame, or we're just doing it because that's our conditioning. And this is a big part of uh, spiritual practice in, in meditation. Is, is this actually you? Or is this your conditioning? And of course it's a mixture of both. But can we choose to bring our Qigong practice, our meditation practice, into that relationship, gather our Jing, come up to our spark, choose our flame, and also choose the flame as a place to, you could say offer compost, offer bad choices, offer things you might need to forgive yourself for. So this is a, a lovely attribute of Qigong where we can actually do some self-healing, almost a kind of self-therapy, all while just standing and breathing, being a lamp, being the ember, the spark of life, being the flame, and making really good choices. Over years and years and years, as you cook the proverbial BS of life <laughs> and turn it into beauty. And that's maybe a part of why we're here. Last closing, closing your midline, sealing your energy, inhale, bring your feet together, exhale. If you choose, you can bow to the generations that have come before. It's optional, you don't have to do that. This is also optional, but you can take a sense of the chi you've cultivated today and send it to everyone in the world or to someone specific. And just breathe in. And send that good chi to where it needs to go. And that's a way of expressing our generosity and gratitude for having our practice and being able to share it. <laughs>